Mythos, I presume. So they tell me. You know, it's, um, interesting. I was always told that you were a myth. <laughs> and yet you look very, very real. Tell me, is it true that uh, you were a friend of Socrates? Oh, I've had many friends. And, um, I, I, I've always wondered... Uh, Cleopatra, what was she really like? She was a woman. She loved. She lived. She died. Yeah, speaking of death... Uh... You seem very vulnerable. We're all vulnerable. <laughs> yes, but you a little more than me, I think. I mean... A lot of people might want the head of a 5,000-year-old man. A lot of people might want to listen to a 5,000-year-old man. I suppose that's true. I mean, 50 centuries, after all, you must have learnt a lot. Uh, knowledge, wisdom, that sort of thing. The truth is, my beliefs are very simple. Yes, I've heard about your beliefs. Do you really think that there's no such thing as evil? Only fear. So what, uh, Genghis Khan and Hitler were just children playing up? There were men, driven by fear, to commit evil acts. And if their mother had loved them truly, then it would have been a different world. Could you say it wouldn't? What about the game? Do you really think we can end the game? I think it's worth trying. Even if it costs you your head? Can anyone live for 5,000 years and say they did nothing? Risked nothing? Merely stayed alive? It'd be pointless. Some might think that that experience was worth saving. I'm not one of them. But we can talk about it. No, I've got a prior engagement, I'm afraid. I, uh, didn't catch your name. No, that's right, you didn't. 